What you're looking at here is a Claris FileMaker app that manages lessons and students assigned to those lessons. In our example, an educator has already recorded a distance learning class using Zoom, and now they need to put in a transcript of the lesson in order to do an index search on lesson content, and then a summary for notification purposes, and also keywords for their lesson plan. Now, instead of burdening the educator with all this extra overhead, we're gonna do this for them instantly using machine learning and let them spend their time educating students. So all the educator has to do is populate the Zoom ID field with the ID from their recording and Claris Connect does the rest. You'll notice the transcript has been pulled over to the app and there's a summary and even those keywords. All of this done instantaneously using machine learning in a Claris Connect flow. And also, if we take a look at the educator's school approved email, we'll notice that they have an approval request. Some flows require human approval, and in this flow, the Claris Connect approval feature shows them a preview of the summary notification that will be sent to students. The sending of the notification in this flow will not go out if I hit reject, but if I hit approve, then they will. And there's our confirmation. After the approval, we'll look at what the student would see in their school approved email. You'll notice that we've got a personalized email with some HTML formatting that includes a summary of the lesson that we got from the machine learning model, as well as a list of keywords, and then even an HTML link and a password that will take them right to the recording in Zoom. And when the student goes to their school approved calendar, they'll see that the due date for their lesson has automatically been added by Claris Connect. So let's go over to Claris Connect and take a look at the flow that makes this whole thing work. The first thing I want to show you is the new FileMaker event trigger. This is where we can trigger a flow with the action of either updating a record, which is what I'm doing here, creating a new blank record, or deleting a record. In the case of updating a record, I pick a layout to establish the context of the data I'm going to communicate with back in my FileMaker app. And now this part I'm really excited about, trigger conditions. I pick the zoom ID field from the field list, and then I choose not empty as the condition. Because that way, if the user updates any other field on the record when they commit, then the flow doesn't have to run. Now in step two, you see a preview of the Zoom trigger. I'll add the Zoom ID step data from the lesson record in my app, and that'll pull over the transcript, recording URL, and password from Zoom. Now after editing the lesson record with the values collected in these previous steps, we see the really cool monkey learn preview. Monkey learn is a machine learning resource that has extraction and keyword models available. So I'm gonna send the transcript data that's coming from Zoom over to MonkeyLearn, and it's gonna extract a summary of the transcript. And then in step number five, it's gonna use another model to extract all the keywords. And that's how these fields get updated back in our app. Finally, back in our flow, and before we send the content over to our educator for approval, I'm gonna search for all of the students assigned to the lesson. And that's going to be the data set that we use in step number nine, which is the new repeat step. So for each assigned student, the flow will perform these indented steps below in a loop. That's how each student gets a personalized email and how they get an event created on their personalized calendar. Let's take a look at this process from the student perspective. In this example, the student is distance learning from home and they log into their school approved email and see a notification that was sent from their educator, indicating that there's a lesson that's been assigned to them. Now, one thing I'd like to point out here is you'll notice this section. Your teacher has added this note. If you remember, Claris Connect sent out an approval request to the educator, asking them to either reject or approve sending the notifications. But additionally, inside of an approval request, the educator can also add comments. So for example, if they add those comments, when they hit approve, the email notification goes out to the students that has the notes attached. This way you can customize the human interaction on this flow. You'll also see that this email has an HTML clickable link. When the student clicks on that link, it will go right to the lesson in the student's default browser using Claris's FileMaker WebDirect technology. And this takes us to a remote attendance login screen. Now this is the same Claris FileMaker application hosted in FileMaker Cloud, but now it's being deployed through a browser with no additional modifications necessary. All a student has to do is enter in their student ID 
and the system immediately finds them, confirming that this is the student, Boo Radley. You'll notice that there's an image of the student and that their name appears. Now this next portion is a feature that's based on social emotional learning strategies. This is where we're going to gather the mood of the student when they log remote attendance. All they have to do is select either one through five on these moods, which is happy all the way to sad. Let's say they pick number four. Now the system logged that mood in the background as part of their remote login, yet we'll also ask them to add some additional mood description. For example, you'll notice in these fields off to the left that the system responds back with positive 72%. Now those two fields would not normally be shown in the login, but they're here for this demonstration because I wanted to show you that this is a customized monkey learn machine learning model that's using sentiment analysis to evaluate the text that the student has entered. And then after analyzing the statement, the model tells us that this is either a positive, neutral, or negative statement. In this case, it says positive 72, so the system logs this. That way we can correlate that to the mood selection above. Just to test this out, and we see this one comes back identified as a negative statement. Now once the student has identified themselves and logged in, they're then taken to their own personalized landing page. You'll see here all the different lessons that have been assigned to them. And I'll just click on the Gettysburg Address lesson. This takes us to the Gettysburg Address lesson page that has all sorts of information on it, like the lesson due date, the lesson name, the summary, and even the keywords. But this also takes us directly to an embedded Zoom recording video. After you read the document, this way the student can watch the video, but the system can even track whether or not they've watched the entire video. You'll notice that they can also watch the video in full screen or in picture in picture mode. Once the video is complete, they can select the video complete button on the top of the page. You'll notice that this updates the status, allowing the educator to track how far each student has gotten within each lesson. Now, once the video has been marked as complete, there's a questions button on the bottom of the page. This is where the student can enter in all of their answers for each of the questions. Once all the questions are complete, they can hit the questions complete button, and then the status of the lesson is changed again to complete, thus updating the educator on their progress. The student can then dismiss this lesson and navigate back to the personalized students page where they see all green icons indicating that this lesson has already been completed so that they can move on to the next one. I'd like to quickly show you an alternative login option. This time we're going to use FileMaker Go on the iPad. FileMaker Go is a free app that allows us to access FileMaker apps while on an iOS device. In this case, we're going to use FileMaker Go to log into the distance learning app that's currently hosted on FileMaker Cloud. You may notice that the login screen is very similar to the one that we saw in FileMaker Web Direct. However, in this case, the student can either enter in their student ID, or because the system has identified that we're logging in using an iOS device, they've presented us with a customized option that allows us to tap to log in. In this case, the system uses the camera on the device to take a photo of this handsome student. And then the system runs that photo through a custom machine learning vision model that has learned all of the faces of all the different students at this school, and then determined that this student logging in is in fact Boo Radley. This was a correct identification, so I'm going to confirm by selecting yes. Now, this machine learning model is using CoreML on iOS to identify who the student is as they log in. Now, we can also ask the student how they're feeling. So we'll have them choose one of the mood icons and do the same sentiment analysis that we did earlier. After they've logged in, they can see the exact same screen that we saw in WebDirect and perform all of the same functions.
So while all the students are working on their lessons, let's say the educator wants to stay on top of their progress. So now in this case, she happens to not be in front of her computer. So while walking around the campus, she wants to access all of their lesson progress. So she reaches into her pocket and pulls out her iPhone. And as you can see here, we have an app right on the home screen. Now this app is like any other app on the phone, except this one is a Claris FileMaker app that was run through the iOS SDK for FileMaker. This means that you can create an application using Claris FileMaker and then publish it to either the iTunes store or a mobile device management system. All the user has to do to interact with the hosted database that's up on FileMaker Cloud is simply click the icon. After authenticating using Face ID, she'll see a list of all the lessons that she's created. Let's click on the Gettysburg Address lesson. And we can see, we can see with this custom JavaScript chart added into the layout that 50% of the students have currently completed this lesson. So we can see the important role that all the various Claris products can play in distance learning, including Claris FileMaker, Claris Connect, the FileMaker Cloud, and even the iOS SDK for Claris FileMaker.